Hey guys, welcome back once again in my studio. My name is Mithle Singh and you are watching my YouTube channel CloudX India. So guys, today I am going to talk about Active Directory sites and services, which is very important part of any organization. Why it is important, why it is critical, why it is crucial, why interviewer asks so many questions from Active Directory sites and services we will discuss in today's session. Okay. So the first thing, what is sites? So sites basically define your physical structure of Active Directory domain services. So the next question is, why do we need sites? Active Directory sites are the best solution for managing organization that have different locations, right? But fall under same domain. Take an example, cloudxindia.com. Under cloudxindia.com, there are three different locations, India, US, and Sydney. And you want to manage all these three sites or three locations under one domain, then you have to use sites and services. Okay. So this is one of the requirement of managing sites and services. Apart from this, or when you are going to create a site, you have to first focus on the subnet. Why focus on the subnet? Take an example, you have a user inside running in India location, not a user, one user, there are multiple user. And you do not associate the subnet of this computer, right, CIDR block of this computer from this particular site, India site, what happened? When a user will log in, user doesn't have information which site is the nearest site of me. So user may connect to the India or user may connect to the US. If it is connecting to you, India, it's fine. But if it is connecting to US or Sydney, what happened? User will face problem into the login, during the login. User will face slowness in authentication. User will face problem to access the file server. It will be slow. User may have problem with the application access as well, right? So that will be a challenging part for you. So you have to first focus when you are going to design a site you have to collect the subnet information and associate the subnet with right domain right site if you are not doing this you will have lots of trouble i'll have the another scenario in later in next video i'll show the example to you so this is one of the reason okay and second reason take an example you are promoting a domain controller here okay so once you promote a domain controller, during the provision of DOC, it automatically discovers the site if you have associated the DC subnet into the proper site. Take an example. This DC belongs to this site, uh, this subnet, okay? So once you are promoting, it automatically discover India site. And this DC, take an example, is belonging to different subnet, which is 20. What happened? And if you have not associated this subnet with this particular site, what happened? This domain controller during the provision will not be able to discover this site, right? Because this is not associated. So this is one of the challenge you will face. Okay, so that is the reason. Please make sure that all subnet is associated with appropriate site to avoid any latency, any delay in authentication, any delay in discovery okay and there are so many other reasons as well so once you promote a domain controller right another domain controller within site what happen it automatically create connection between them and this is created by the kcc and this is known as the connection object what is connection object a connection object is an active directory object that represent a replication connection Replication connection means if you create any user here, it will replicate with this and it require a connection. It require a connection to exchange the information. So this connection happen with, between all domain controller within this site. And this is created by the KCC. And it will be inbound and outbound connection. And it happen between all site, within all site. If you have three site and there are four domain, they will also create a like establish a connection between them, and that is also again done by the KCC. Okay, and this connection is known as intra-site connection. 
which help to replicate information between domain controller and between site when you establish a connection so that connection is known as inter-site connection and this inter-site connection will help to replicate exchange information from one site to another site we'll talk about this one so we have established the connection all three, three sites together so take an example administrator is setting over here and creating a user here take an example user one usr one user one so once this administrator create user onto this domain controller connected to this domain controller and created user this user will replicate to other domain controller as well between site okay so as soon as you have updated the information or created it pop up send a pop up right to all the domain controller and this domain controller will pull the information and similarly as soon as this domain controller get the information it send the pop up right to the other domain controller they all will replicate together okay and exchange the information of this usr so this replication is known as inter intra site replication and this is happening because the connection object is created between this domain controller okay and so the replication within site happen quickly it doesn't wait for interval as soon as there is any change it happened quickly but once it replicate right and if you want to replicate this information from this side to this side so it it doesn't happen quickly so minimum minimum wait time is 15 minute right and the custom wait time what you have to define so during that particular time this this sites has to wait okay it will not exchange information until unless the interval time begin okay and once the take an example once the interval time start right so this side will replicate information to the other side so which do, domain controller will replicate this information this a single domain controller and this domain controller known as the bridgehead server and this bridgehead server will communicate to the only one domain controller into the us site and the other side domain controller is also known as the bridgehead server and it happened with all site this is and this replication is known as the inter inter site replication once the information exchange from this domain controller to this domain controller right user are replicated over here so what happened as soon as this domain controller will receive information it send the pop-up to the other domain controller within site and the dc within site will replicate with this domain controller so this is known as inter intra site replication within this site and between site replication known as inter site replication so there are so many other things which we have to talk about i'll make another video in next uh, next session okay and we'll discuss what it is how it is uh, work and what is importance of it okay guys if you like this video please thumbs up share and subscribe my channel thanks for watching once again